Oh, yes, folks, the NBA playoffs here on YouTube continues, man, with the next matchup between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Houston Rockets. Now, you know, a lot of people have debated this with me. I don't think that there really is a debate. By the time that you guys probably either see this video or by the time, you know, uh, OKC plays their home games in this series, um, Russell Westbrook should be getting the MVP trophy. Now, that's not no shot at James Harden now. James Harden has had a really, really great season. He's basically carried Houston on their back, uh, on his back, um, to this position in the playoffs and led him to the third seed, which nobody will debate. But you know, with let, let's just be real, Oklahoma City without Russell Westbrook is what a team that's what contending for tenth place in the Western Conference probably, and that's no shot at the other guys. It's just that. This is a team full of role players, and the role players are not superstars, and you can't expect for role players to be super superstars. If that was the case, then Serge Ibaka, who I will get to later on in these videos, would be a megastar by now, and he's not a megastar because he's a compliment to the star. There's no, there's no problem with being a compliment to the star. Robert Ori was a compliment to the star, but that's basically what, you know, that's basically what this team is made up of. That's what OKC is made up of. So if you take Westbrook off of this squad. What are they? All right. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. That just kind of get that argument out the way. All right. Now let's get on to, you know, the key matchup that I want people to, uh, to keep an eye on. The X factors and all that good stuff. The bench play. Um, the key matchup in this series. I mean, I, I think that people, most people will say Westbrook versus Harden. I'm going to go a completely different direction. I'm going to say Oleb Depot versus the sixth man of the year. Eric Gordon, yes, I think that he should be the sixth man of the year. When you come off the bench and you average 10 points and 5 assists, I think that's somewhere around there, maybe 12 points, 5 assists or something like that, you should be the sixth man of the year. I don't think there's any argument there. But Oleb Depot is one of those players where I just don't I don't know what to think about Oleb Depot. All right? I don't know rather to consider him to be a rising star like a, like a, a Deta Kupo, who I'll get to later on in these videos. Or is he just a guy that is just, you know, a really good compliment to the star? Because, you know, of course, Westbrook didn't do this by himself. I mean, you got Steven Adams and, and the reason why, you know, Steven Adams and Cantor. And the reason why I didn't bring them up as a key matchup in the series is because, you know, Capella, Nene, they got uh, Harrell down there. Houston's got some big men. All right. You got Taj Gibson. All these guys just kind of counteract each other that they don't. They don't separate the you know each other from each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there's no real gap that you really have to look at there. All right, but between Oleb Depot and Eric Gordon, that's the matchup that I want people to watch out for in this series. Like, you know, of course, when it comes to bench play, all right, the Houston Rockets have one of the deepest benches in the league. That's the reason why they're the biggest threat in my mind in the Western Conference. Or well, one of the biggest threats. I'll get to the other biggest threat in a little bit. But they're one of the biggest threats in the Western Conference to you know, the Warriors and the Spurs because they have a deep enough bench to get them to the finals. There's not just one guy that can take over the game. They're a very well-built squad. And well-built well well -built squads, actually, you know, they do damage April and May and June. They do damage during this time of the year, okay? All right, so, you know, when it comes to the benches, Houston's got that complete advantage, man. Lou Williams, sweet Lou Williams for three. He catches on fire. That's it. I mean, when you look at OKC's bench, I mean, who really scares you on OKC's bench? I'll wait. Doug McDermott, no. Um, you know, Abrainus, no. I mean, come on, man. Like, you, it's just, you know, Russ has had a really good season, but he has to put up at least 20 points. 15, 15 assists and 10 rebounds in this series in order for them to beat the Rockets, and I don't see that happening. All right, I'm just, I'm just, I just don't see that happening. So I know, I know that this is a semi-quick video, all right, but I think that the Rockets win this series four games to two. I think that OKC can hold home court. I think that Russell Will, uh, Ru Russell Wills, uh, Russell Westbrook, it just kind of rolls off the tongue, folks. Russell Westbrook is the league MVP for a reason. And the reason being is that this team crumbles without him. They they really do. This team crumbles against formidable opponents without him. 
He is their team, and he's rightful MVP. But James Harden does not need to do every single last thing in order for Houston to win this series. All right, they just don't. He just doesn't. So I'm going to go with the Rockets in six. Let me know how you guys feel about this series right here. And do you guys do you guys think that James Harden is the rightful MVP over Russell Westbrook? Let me know how you feel down below. There's a lot of there's a lot of bad blood between these guys, from what I know. That both of these guys, and here's the shame. Here's the shame in this. All right, I get that Russell Westbrook couldn't get along with Durant. I I, I get that, but when you really think about it, how bad ass could OKC be right now if Harden, Westbrook, and Durant put their egos to the freaking side? All right, and said. Let's whoop everybody's ass in the NBA and win multiple championships here in OKC. Why couldn't they just do that? I mean, they had a big three there in OKC, and they just didn't. It's just egos. Egos is one of those things that ruins the NBA game. I wanted to make sure I said that in this video, not the Golden State video. All right, so let me know how you guys feel once again. The music is going to cut me off, I promise. And until next time, peace out.